Is my screen sharing? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. So, this is mine. For the time being, I did not really, I didn't, it was not letting me to write. My focus question, how can we make the art community garden, well, this is our group idea, how can we make the community garden slash learning center a good place for the earth? And first, I used lead, lead, as a resource. Give it a second. And since you want to do community garden, this would be a very good um, idea. Do you see, do you see my screen still? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So we, because Dolly and I and Mark was, this is our original idea. So it could be also a learning center, community garden. But since it's a community garden, it focuses on the earth, as you know. And since the earth is already very polluted and it has a lot, a lot of these things, we would make sure that with the garden, it can actually help the earth instead of hinder it. And yeah. Um, That's a good thought. That's a good thought. And this is topography I was talking about with Rodriguez before. Um, this is the one of smallpox. Okay. And I have a Google Earth image, if it load. Oh, can't, never mind, it's not loading, but I don't know why, but I can just... I'll be right back. And, um... I had another, just, oh, okay. wait, sorry. Megan, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, quick question, where did you get that image of the map? Uh, of the map? Uh, oh, yeah. I, oh, to be honest with you, I don't even remember the source. I know it's from a newspaper, but I didn't put it in the link. I didn't copy yeah. the link. Megan, uh, Megan, just to let you know that map, we may have to switch it because it's not accurate. It's not accurate to uh, Cornell Tech, but we'll we'll go over that. Um, Megan, do you want to continue? Does anyone else want to share their screen for the smallpox? Amy, perhaps. Amy, drink. Um, I was I was go it's just that my computer is like really slow and I don't want it to lag. But uh, Yamilet said that she was. I don't know if she's still here. If she could probably present her screen. Yeah, yeah, Mila, are you there? Thank you. Can you guys hear me fine? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, so. I'm going to present mine, and then I'm going to go on mute, and then I'm going to show everybody else's so they could explain theirs, if that's Very okay. Good, Thank you so much. Okay, so, sorry, let's just get that one out of the way. Down. So, this is my project research topics. Let me zoom it in for you guys. Can you guys see it? Right there. Yeah, you can see your screen. Okay, so I had like a couple of topics in mind. Um, one that was really big for me was making like, you know, where our project is as the small parts of Randall's Island, like making it COVID friendly because that's something that's like a worry now. And also like if there's future viruses or whatnot, you know, like how to find a solution to that. So I'm going to zoom out for a second. And I'm going to go to where I wrote. I'm going to zoom in to my section. And I basically was just stating how, what's the solution, what's going on right now to like the whole like COVID and like, you know, the social distancing and how the benefit of Randall Island being really big comes to play with, you know, 
viruses and so, and people still being able to visit it during these circumstances. Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, I, I appreciate you thinking about the, the, you know, the whole COVID um, situation. Obviously, you know, this is something you cannot ignore. Um, but as you're thinking about the design of, of you know, reimagining the smallpox memorial hospital, you know, this mm. is what you, you want to think of it as, you know, um, if you're designing something, it's going to be built maybe, you know, five or ten years from now, right? So... You, you, yeah. want to, you want to consider COVID, you know, any pandemic pretty much, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not something that's going to become the focal point of your design, all right? Mm -hmm. And this goes to everyone else. Like, yes, we, we, we acknowledge the COVID threat, but, it's, you know, you want to keep it in mind and you don't want to, you don't want that to dictate your process and the design that you come up with later on, okay? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You mind if I add something, Rodriguez? Yeah. 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 One of the key things when, like, uh, you have to start thinking like a developer's mindset in terms of, or urban planner, mm -hmm. thinking like, if it's the beautiful world we live in, um, the endless possibility. That's one of the key things that when, I, when we went to design school, architecture school, we always have to always first focus on our design There's all the things we would love to have it because we are going to eventually going to be turned down by this cannot happen, this cannot happen, but we don't want to deter your ideas and what the uh, things that you have because of the situation that's occurring now. So feel free to have ideas without the influence of what's happening to this society, political aspect world as well. Okay, Yamala? Exactly. exactly. Okay, thank you. Good point, Claudia. Thank you for um, adding that. Wait, Rodriguez? Yes. Before the Wi-Fi cut off, what were you saying? Um, wait, just now? Before, to me, before I got out. To you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that. sorry. And I'll get back to you on that, Megan. We're going to move on, but it has to do with the topography. That is not, it's not accurate. Okay. It's, a, it's an old one, all right? So I'll, oh, okay. we'll talk about it on Monday. We'll move on to the next. We only, we're going to try to be out in the next 10 minutes. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you, Emily. Who's next? I'm sorry. I'll go next. Um, Yami, can you move over towards to the left, past the project task managing? Also, I'm missing Haley Paulino. Where did she go, Yami? Like? No, um, Yami, like. Um, I don't know. I messaged her. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Like, um, lately when I've been like emailing her, she replied back like in the night time. All right, all right, I'll touch you. Um, you can continue, Haley. All right. All right, that's a little down, and then it's right there. Um, so I, so my task, I was thinking about construction and budgeting. So just to sum it up, I found a study and from 2013, but 2017 was more accurate from Friends in the Ruins and R, um, RIOC. And they planning a three-phase construction and fundraising approach. And eventually, it'll in all, it'll cost over $24 million. And I also said that I want to, um, we have to think about additional costs <clears throat> and keep in mind, like, the weather, <clears throat> sorry, that um, may affect the cost. Um, because I remember in the presentation, they were speaking about uh, rising sea levels and how to you know, have that not affect the building as much and what we could do. I remember um, mentioning pumps and so, yeah, just to quickly be a little quick. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Amy. All right, well, we'll come back to that, but we'll be having to read that discussion next week, but we just wanted to make sure, you know, you guys had produced work. So who's going to have one little thing, um, Rodriguez, yeah. you mind just yeah, a quick yeah. second? Um, for this cost, it 
uh, basically just to keep it to stabilize the smallpox mode hospital. So this price of 24 point something million doesn't have anything to do with like the program that they might think about in the future, might the concept that we might have for them. So that's all the cost going towards like we fixing the structure back or stabilizing the structure. Okay, Haley. Thank you. All right, the next person. Haley, who's next? Um, Gilbert, you think you go next? Oh, uh, yeah, Gilbert, I'll go. Dasha Nunez. Uh, yeah, right there. Can you zoom in a little bit? And later um, on, uh, next week, guys, just a, just a, a quick note is that we, we have to... I know that Miro is a big canvas and we want to make sure that things are a little bit more organized. So make sure that you have titles, topics, you know, and try to structure the way you organize uh, your information on Miro, okay? I know you guys are getting used to it, so it's not a problem, but we, we have to keep that in mind. All right, go, go for it. Um, so I did a lot of research on the surrounding areas and buildings. I wanted to make sure that whatever it is that we decided to build or whatever project we went with, didn't affect them negatively or bother any of those buildings. So um, on the side of the bridge that Smallpox is on is Four Freedoms Park, Drecker Memorial Laboratory, um, Cornell Technical uh, University, and a smaller uh, section, which is dedicated to the uh, Wildlife Freedom Foundation, which is in the same area as Smallpox, but most of these are under a mile away from smallpox, but within 100 feet. So they're pretty distant. And then uh, smallpox itself is 39,000 square feet, while all the other areas or the other tourist sections are either on the other side of the bridge or right up against it. So those aren't uh, affecting smallpox in any way. Um, as far as cars is through the actual smallpox area. Sounds good, Gilbert. Next, next phase for you is to translate this information information into visual, into visuals, okay, and diagrams. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Next. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just read Josh as he said that he's outside. Um. Yeah, just go a little more down, Yanni. Thank you. So he said, possible ideas and uses for this consist of a COVID-19 hospital, museum, and a park or community garden where people could enjoy the space building. We want to make sure to honor the building and its history when using the space. All right. Now, is this backed up by research or this is just a thought? Maybe examples. I mean, I know. I, well, that was a thought. We we have spoken about that before. I know, and we had said, and I um I know in the presentation they were saying how they would like for us to mm -hmm. keep in mind the history of the space when we um thinking about what we want to turn it into. Okay, so here we can be a little bit more specific about the about you know what goes into that museum. You know what are the spaces. All right, Joshua. So that's something you want to consider. Like, what are the? How do you break down the different spaces that go that goes into the museum or the hospital? All right, moving on. Who, who else do we have? I know Maya is out. Um. Yeah. Like that's Maya's work? I I believe that's it. I okay. at least from my yeah. 